If history is any indication of what the Burgundy and Gold will do after a win, they'll most likely fall to the Cowboys. Dan Steinberg of the Washington Post tweeted this insane stat today. The team is 1-1 one one in the last two games, 2-2 two two last four, 3-3 three three in the last six, 5-5 five five in the last 10, 6-6 six six in the last 12, 7-7 seven seven in the last 14, 10-10 ten ten in the last 20, 16-16-1 16, 16 in the last 33, and 18-18-1 18, 18 in the last 37. That, my friends, is the definition of mediocrity. DJ Swearinger, are y'all going to come prepared this week or what? You got to uh, understand, man, we can't go up and down. This team went, goes up and down. We got to stay consistent in our preparation. Whatever we did last week, we got to stay consistent. Um, you know, no laughing next week. We got the Cowboys coming in. There shouldn't be no laughing next week. We need to do business. We need to be all business from here on out. You know, we enjoy this for I ain't even gonna enjoy this. I'm gonna get on the Cal uh, Cowboys when I get to the house, man. This, we should have won this game. You know what? I think our biggest test is gonna see how we respond after this win. I think the, um, what we've been doing was playing great, playing bad, playing great, playing bad. And we we got to cut that um, that streak. We we can't continue to operate like that. We got to string some wins together, and then we'll see if we're making progress. What if I told you there was an ice hockey team in Kenya where they just have one ice rink? You might not believe me, but it's real. Only problem, the team has no one to play. So Tim Hortons stepped in to send them to Canada to play another hockey team for a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. The bonus, the players and coach played alongside NHL star Sidney Crosby and Nathan McKinnon. Sydney. Seeing my favorite player coming through the door wearing our jersey, I felt like I was in heaven. It's such an honor for them to do this for us. I can't hold back my tears. I had so much fun like in my entire life. That's the best part about the game, is just how it reaches so many people and a place like Kenya where you wouldn't think that there's even ice. And the great part about this story, they now have a youth league and a women's team as well. Amazing. Nice. So now they have somebody to play. Exactly. They yeah. look so stoked to be out there. That's yeah, so terrific. Thanks, Chris. No problem. So coming up tonight.